Up and buddies? I mean, who would do something like this? Holy horse! Oh, got you, huh? Wait a second. Catnap? Okay, I just... Hey, um, uh, what is it? <sighs> I lost all my friends. We used to have little nighty adventures at the orphanage. Until a thousand six appeared. I wasn't sure if I was dreaming. But it insisted and showed me a picture of mommy long legs killing children. That was so scary. I tried to show the others, but he disappeared instantly. So the kids didn't believe me. I was called the Odor. With my name Theodore, you know? Then again, a thousand six came. This time, he gave me a tape. Those were the proofs I needed. I put it on the TV, and I had no more doubts. Mommy was behind all this. She was chasing us and manipulating Huggy and Kizzy too. She was acting so mean, they were cornered and punished only to get beat. She took Kizzy and threatened Huggy with her life. That was so painful to see. He couldn't resist. He fell in the hands of a murderer, losing his freedom, his morality, his hope. It was all vanished by each soul he would get. The devil's path had shorter legs. Mommy wasn't going to give up on his slave. She was desperately lost in her own madness, taking Bunzo, the other Huggies, even Paiji, under a hunger widow. So deeply painful for everyone around. She kidnapped them all and trapped every child in her nets. Till I was given a grav back. I asked him what was that for. But again, Bubba just laughed at me. And that moment, I realized I could electrocute Mommy with it. So I started looking for her. And she found me first. I tried my best to use that tool, but somehow it wasn't working well. So I ran. But she was faster and stronger. She knocked me down, and I accidentally used a gun against myself. I waked up in the lab. But the doctor was blinded by mommy too, so he altered me into this. Oh, buddy, you were so brave. You think so? <laughs> For sure. Thank you. No.